Hi, my name is Daniel Sorrentino. I'm the director and producer of Eat Me Taco. Hi, I'm Stephen Brown. I was the editor of Eat Me Taco, compositor, and I played Brad. My name is Mel Harsh. I play Jake, and I'm Brad's best friend. Jake is a nerdy guy. Hey, Jake. That is yeah. Brad's sidekick. What's that thing? Uh, with the simple stuff. Uh, he gets hauled away by the FBI. My name is Henry Torres, and I play Chipotle in Eat Me Taco. Chipotle is basically a Mexican who can't really speak English, and he basically, I don't know if I want to spoil it, but he basically dies, and no one really seems to care. Oh, okay. My name is Alana Thomas. I played Amy. I don't think she had a last name. Amy is this sexy blonde that walks into the taco place and really shakes things up. Uh, she even flashes her boobs a couple times, which I think was great. It was my favorite part. The film's about um, my, my character, Brad, the hero. He is um, kind of a, a lazy employee, jaded, and he decides that, uh, you know, he's, he's over his job, but um, once he meets the new hire, Amy, this uh, attractive young woman, he uh, decides that uh, he's going to go for it and he's going to get an assistant manager position so that he can um, win over her love. Win, win over yeah. her love, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so some of the hardest things about making this movie were, was the fact that the contortions you have to go through as a puppeteer. Now, it, you know, if you're looking at a Muppet movie or something by Jim Henson Studios, you're going to have a sound stage that's tall enough to accommodate the height of the actor plus the puppet at arm's length. And they've got a whole second stage that's over their heads. And all the cameras are lifted up and everything's way up high. But we have an eight foot drop ceiling in our studio. So we had to get kind of inventive and we did a lot of things with moving blankets and pillows and other stuff so that we were basically lying on the floor the whole time we were shooting um, with our arms up like this and then we had to have monitors suspended above us um, so as we were lying on our backs we could uh, look at the monitor and, and see our performance and be able to see where we were um, relative to each other in the space. The other thing that, of course, made this difficult was the fact that lying on our backs, we couldn't move from one side of the stage to the other. So um, we had to do all of that in post. Most of the shots were, if you see a puppet moving from point A to point B, that was animated in After Effects. I almost pulled the plug on this project twice because I woke up in the middle of the night saying, what the heck is my problem? Am I really making a movie about puppets? Everyone's going to laugh at me. And it was pretty scary. And I pushed through it. Like, the next day, I had, like, a lot of anxiety and stuff. But when it came down to doing something, we did it. And it was just, like, I just remember a lot of people in, my, in past in my life no, saying, no. you know, one foot in front of the other. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and things will happen. Things will happen. And I just, that mantra was in my head, and it worked. So, and we have a successful film now. Yep. Yeah. Like, we all did a great job. <laughs> yeah. So, with that, you guys should all come out and check out our film. Um... You know, come and check us out on our website. It's eatmetaco.com. Uh, you can watch a trailer there. You can also purchase your tickets to watch it at the film festival. So you get two hats and two tickets so you can bring a date and you both have a hat on um, for 20 bucks, right? 20 bucks.